G'day everybody, my name's Luke Fitzpatrick and thank you for supporting Fish That Snag. Today's topic is a review of the GoPro Hero 4 Session. Okay, so this is what you get when you unpackage your GoPro Hero 4 Session. Uh, you get the GoPro itself, which is uh, quite a tidy little unit. Two mounting frames. Uh, the first one here, that's all it is. It's really just a little bit of uh, plastic. Uh, and I think this is the streamlined one because the uh, little coupling's actually at the back. You get two of these that just clip into the, uh, the stick-on mounts. Uh, that one's pretty much fixed in place. And this one's pretty cool. It's got a little, uh, little pivot built into it. You get a couple of uh, pins, of course, charging cable, instruction book, quick start guide, uh, some stick-on mounts, uh, the box itself that has that groovy little mount on it. Uh, it measures in oh, three and a half centimetres tall and uh, same again uh, in width. It's quite streamlined, uh, it's black all round. You've just got the single frame at the front. On top you've just got a single button, uh, which is your record button. On the back You've just got a uh, single button down the bottom here which is for scrolling through a very small uh, menu which you can see through the little LCD screen on top. Um, and then all it's got is a, uh, a little side access door which when you crack that open uh, it just gives you access to a micro SD card and a charging port. It's got two speakers on it. Uh, which I'll talk about a bit later. One on the front and one located here on the back. Thing to note straight up, what attracted me to this unit is it's waterproof, ready to go straight out of the box. It doesn't need any other cases or framing or anything like that. So what am I looking for in my sports cameras? Well, as you would see in my other videos, I'm, I'm very practical and I like to keep things very, very simple. I want something that comes out of the box, simple to use, it's going to take great shots, both film and still shots, and I, I'm talking about using it while I'm fishing, so it needs to be able to handle uh, being in a salt water or freshwater environment. This ticks all those boxes when it comes out of the box. and. The recent price drop, which I know when I looked at a lot of reviews online, a lot of the reviews on YouTube were done prior to the price drop. This used to cost the same amount as a GoPro 3, uh, which a lot of people know that the GoPro uh, 3 and the GoPro 4, etc., have really good quality in terms of the images that it captures. This is a little bit less in quality, still does 1080 but um, you can definitely tell the difference between the GoPro 4 and GoPro 3 compared to this with the imagery, but the difference wasn't enough to sway me away from the other advantages of this unit, which is uh, it's waterproof, the speakers are much better, uh, you don't need the underwater casing uh, where you have with the other units. Once you put the other units in the underwater casing, uh, their ability to pick up audio is severely diminished. One of the best features of it that I really, really love is when you press the start button, it pretty much kicks into gear straight away and automatically starts recording. Now, this might not seem like a biggie, right? But then I press off, and it completely shuts down the camera, saving battery time. Now, the reason this is important for me is when I'm out on the water, I don't have a huge capacity for charging batteries. When I'm using my GoPro 3 in the case, I usually carry a little box of extra batteries with me. Great for swapping in and out and all that sort of stuff. You have to open the case up and all that sort of stuff. But with a Go, the GoPro 3 in this case, if I leave it on, I get about 45 minutes of recording time before I have to swap the battery out. This little baby, due to the 
on off nature of it gives me two hours solid of recording time which is pretty good now when you're fishing there's copious amounts of hours spent filming not much going on so when you get the strike on the fish you want to be able to turn it on pretty quickly to be able to capture what's actually happening in front of you okay it comes with two mounting frames straight out of the box um, this one here where you can mount it pretty much uh, straight in great thing about it is you can turn the GoPro any which way you want once it's in the mounting frame so that would be the uh, traditional way you'd sort of set it up um, but if you want to turn it all you do is um, so from this way to that way or even upside down you just uh, stick it back in and you can still access the buttons and things to turn it on and off that's a real advantage uh, compared to the other GoPros in their frames uh, you have to buy different fittings and things to be able to switch them around at different angles okay so once the GoPros in uh, its mount this is the one I've been using uh, by far the most out of the two uh, it's with the coupling down the bottom I haven't really used this one that much the great thing about it as well is it mounts to all existing GoPro mounts that you have. So for me, I use the uh, suction cap mount a lot. Is it there? Um, just to stick on the boat, I find it really, really handy. You can just stick it all over the place. Um, and these little bolts and things here, it's a bit rusty, but. It allows you to pretty much uh, turn it around, put it in fixed positions and different angles as much as you need. So the uh, suction cap mount is used very heavily for myself. I also use, it's a little uh, mini tripod mount um, and it fits under this one as well. So no issues there. The visor of my hat. Um, uh, stick that on top of my head and I wear it all the time and uh, it fits into that mount as well You should be able to just open the side door Plug in your little uh, cable put it into the USB uh, on your computer and It will import everything up onto your computer because it only comes like this the casing that you use has nothing to shield the actual lens cover from becoming scratched or anything like that there are a number of little bolts around there uh, i'm unsure on whether you can order a replacement but essentially once that's scratched or marked in any way um, you can't replace it at the moment as far as i'm aware you're using a, another separate mount such as this um, if it gets scratched or dented or anything like that, you just uh, go and get another one. They're a little bit pricey, but you can go and get another one. So do I recommend getting a Hero 4 uh, session? Yes, I do. Mainly based on the premise, well, completely based on the premise of the way I use the cameras. Uh, I use it for fishing and water sports. So I'm in a marine environment that handles that. It's simple to use, nice and lightweight, completely waterproof, the speakers are better and I can put it on all my existing mounts and things and I don't need uh, to get any more mounts or anything for it. There are other sports cameras on the market that do the exact same as this. Uh, recently GoPro has reduced the price of the Hero 4 Session so it's now very competitive compared to the other sports cameras on the market. So what I'll probably be doing is using my Hero 3 uh, as the main camera, but I'll probably put that in a fixed position on my boat uh, in the waterproof casing, and I'll be using the session, uh, mounted to my hat, mounted to the pole, those sort of things to move it around and get different imagery and things, especially underwater shots and things like that.